up, YouTube family? It's your boy Taco Montana back in the building again with another video. Today I got a special guest as we continue to give you what you need to inspire the youth and empower them. I got the OG, long-term friend. He's going to tell you where he was born, the schools he went to, and the neighborhood he grew up in. But first, he's going to tell you his name. Introduce yourself to him, homeboy. How y'all doing? My name is Carlos. They call me Los. Uh, I'm from D.C. Old dude that belong. Been around, been around. Started getting, uh, basically, that, see, let me tell the story first. Let me see, say the schools. I went to, uh, first, I, I'm born from uh, Northwest. They all thought I was from Southwest. <laughs> I was born and raised in Northwest. So I went to Whitaker up there. Yeah. And I moved on the northeast side, then I went to Hamilton, and I know then I was first, then I went to, uh, what's that, Maya, on yeah, Devil Street, Union yeah. Street, so I started over there, you know, I started from right there, then I went to Garnet Patterson, right. so I moved around a little bit. Right, That's right. a little bit about how, how I was raised, and um, here I go, years later, I got, you know, I got my own clothing line, it's called All Love, No Hate. Right. It's a uh, non-violence, it's a non-violence, so it's right. kind of different from most of them. So it ain't just DC, it ain't just Maryland, it ain't Virginia. Right. It's all over, all over, no hate. Right. That's what this what it stands for. The right. A, the A L and H. Right. And then you know I uh I've got some uh kids line just came out. Right. And I should we get back into that. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna get back into it. Yeah, because we wanna um we wanna know um what neighborhood was it that you grew up in? Man, I grew up around Iron City, Montana, uh, what's that, Saratoga, over there northeast, on a, over there with Third Street, L Street over there. Then I moved from right there down down uh, southwest and I was right. down there. So I mean I've been all around right. all around except the southeast side. I don't think I never lived in southeast, but right. you know, I've always been around and welcome to any side of the family. Right, right. So um when you were coming up, um what they would want to know because you come up in the book, the mm -hmm. book, um, Clandestine Hustler, as the person that uh, was receiving something from an individual in Ivory City. So would that be you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we all got a past, man. Without our past, it ain't no press. Right. That's who we is today. That was changed my life. Right. So when I was a youth, man, shit, I started out, you know, Grinding out in the streets, as they say, in the streets, whatever, selling, you know, narcotics at the time. I right. was 14, 15 years old. Right. I ain't know what real money was, but it was there. I had a gift for, for selling, but I right. didn't know that, that was my gift. Right. So, you know, I did my thing. Me and Top, we didn't did things, <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't know what we talk about it now, but it's the yeah. past. We did yeah. things, you know, he, he was more like a, a role model to me, to be honest, you know right. what I'm saying? Because of his actions and the way he 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 ran the city, as far as me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't know nobody was even bigger than him, and it probably was, but at that time, man, it right. was top, top to the man, he did that. So I more so followed his footsteps in certain ways of watching how he moved, you know what I'm saying? So the way he moved, I tried to move the same way, but I was like a little younger than him, probably four years younger than right. him, for real, that time. When I was 14, they ain't talk about 18, 19. Yeah, 18. Yeah, so like that. But I had my own apartment around yeah. the city. Sure, yeah. At 14, 15 years old. I started <laughs> hustling. My mother told me, man, look, if I find some more drugs in this house, I'm moving. I thought she was BSing or whatever. I like, man, same truck on that. At that time, I was <laughs> moving around with PCP. We called it Love Boat. Love Boat yeah. for, you know, all over the world, man, know what that is. But we, uh, was doing that, so I started selling my little packs, but I was moving fast because I didn't smoke. I still don't smoke. Exactly. I never smoked, used no drugs or nothing. So I was moving and moving, you know, and it started escalating, right, where I was in a different level, so it, it changed. So basically, it changed my lifestyle because I wasn't aggressive. I wasn't the type that want bang no guns. I ain't no gorilla. I want to meet some females. I want the clothes, the cars. That, that's what I wanted. Right. But as you go up in in, 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 in steps, you got to change up because yes. then when I got to a different level, 
I had a curry, I had a handle so I had to, or they was gonna take it from me because I didn't been raw before. Like, right. so I didn't, they didn't attempt to do things to him, you know what I'm saying? Right. He still was staying. And it been did, yeah, like, it, they always was trying to get him, but they just didn't. He was more like respected and protected. Sometimes right. people stop you, stop stuff because they got a mutual friend on both sides. One right. friend might be a raw, but the other one might be. The boss, or right. the one that's running or calling it, man, now you can't touch him. You right. can't touch him. See, exactly. even he probably saved me without even exactly. saying that. Dude, yeah. man, man, what's up, that young nigga got yeah, on this? He man. riding around like this and that. But like you say, we still here exactly. years later. Exactly. Yeah. So you say you got your entrepreneur, entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. So where did that come from? Did that come from the hustle or, or did that come from your own self? Well, the hustle started my, my grind. Like when I was younger, I started off doing things like taking the trash out, right. going to the store, then met up with you and Ronnie, right. another guy that I look at like a brother. Elvis. Yeah, so I, uh, we was selling candy, man. You yeah. never believe Tell them about so, that. Yeah. We, we, we was going to, uh, they had a uh, uh, people's drugstore yeah, uh, and standard, standard drugstore and getting Buy, boxes and cases. Buy, and boxes and cases of candy, man, and used to knock on people's doors. And make our money legally down legally. Legally, that way. And I still remember I used to say, that. Just, hey, my name is Carlos Harris. I'm selling candy for Virginia Achievement. If you'd like to buy some, we'll make a small <laughs> delegation. <laughs> I'm telling that. And this when I was young. So right, that's I my name. Place place. It stopped right there. <laughs> up Georgetown, all places. Man, I was making that money. Hey, like fella, that. man. That started right. from there. And I changed from candy to selling drugs, from PCP yeah. to, yeah. to cocaine. <laughs> just like that. Just, yeah. it, it, it just it was overnight because I liked it that money. I liked it that right. sound. I liked it. I was more addicted to the lifestyle of right. how you can live and you go to a club right. and everybody know you. You go to the right. bar, they know what you want, and right. that's what I was more addicted to. I said right. I was gonna never stop, but I had to stop. You know, yeah. I was forced. Unfortunately, you know how they say I had to go away a little bit and say right. go to college for a while. So I had to right. learn. A long term, I think I had a ten year term. Yeah. I had then when I came back, back to the best part. When I came back, I said, "Man, I found out what my uh, calling was. Right. You is a salesman, Carlos, but what you is, you selling the wrong stuff." So right. I started to do right. and learn and stuff. So I came right. out with my brand. All of no hate. I normally just say something real positive every day on Facebook or something. Just to say something like, you know, have a good blessed day. And then at the end of it, I say all of no hate always. And right. they got catchy, so people start saying it. Right. And I'm, I'm going to show y'all a little pieces of what I want you some too, Tom. Right, right. I appreciate that. You see, everybody love the boss, love and respect it. Yeah. So we'll figure out what size you wear. Yeah. Thank you, extra long. Yeah, we, extra we don't do it. I got see, yeah. this. This the kids line right here. Yeah, show it to them. So this this all the uh, no hate and the kids from the CSA supporting non-violence. Right. So you got it here. You got it on the hood. So this for the youth. So you can understand this is what it is. It ain't about beef. It's about getting this money the right way. And this is the best way. This will say all the love, none of the hate. Same thing. Man. We brand out stuff, the tag labels, everything. We all official with it. You learn it, then you get purple. Right. And go purple, that's royalty. So right. I like purple, but I don't wear it as much. So this is how my stuff look, and it's here. It's on the shoulders, steady right here in the middle. Right. But it go good, man, doing this, because it feel good doing stuff. I did right. uh, book bag drives right. and everything. This one's sold in, so you might want this one tart. This yeah. one's sold in down the middle. Okay. This one's yeah. extra large. Yeah. You can take this one, you can take the purple one too. Matter of fact. So you take these, okay. I, I put these over here, and you get a chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, it's, yeah. Um, it feel good to do something that's, that's, you know, it's more so like giving back right. to the community, because now I know better, and right. then I didn't know better. I just, right. I ain't care who I sold it to. Right. And now it's like, you know, you can't, you gotta lead by time. Right. So you can't lead by people who ain't gonna go by what you say. Right. They're going to go by your actions. Like, if I tell right. a person I love them, that don't mean nothing. We got to show them. Right. So right. It's, it's show action. So that's me. And, and I'm willing to help the kids to learn how to do it, learn how to sew, learn how to screen print, or whatever. That's whatever it is. That's what they do. Right. So 
That's, that's basically my story, and we're gonna keep it moving with that. Yeah, so you had some uh, stores. You had what, a store in Virginia? Uh, yeah, I had a uh, store in Virginia, and it was called Tees, Tees, and More Tees. Right, right. So I, I moved to Lynchburg when I came out of college, right. as we say, right? right? Because I was scared to go back to, to my city. Yeah, right. I wasn't scared because I was scared of the people. people. Yeah. I was scared of the vibe, or might oh, I might go back. Because right. now I'm saying, right. young, is that I was here riding around in the bands, the Porsches, and so well. And I'm like, man, I know, man, I know. And then being where right. I was at, I didn't learn more, learn more people, connects, and everything. It just, right. that wasn't where I was at. So I, right. I went away where I had, I ain't had to wear right. uh, certain brands, yeah. and I ain't had to be around certain people. Exactly. Exactly. So it was a lesson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seemed like it was a great lesson in the transformation. Of life. Oh yeah. So, um, so um, how long have you been um, working on your clothing line? All of no hate. Yeah, all of uh, 2016 is when I started doing it. As far as my name, but I had right. a store back in like 2008, nine. Always like, right. always been on my own. I don't really don't like working for other people. Where I want right. to, you know, do it my way. Right. Do it, you know. If I have to, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Y'all understand? Right. You know, I'm about the trash trucks or whatever. I'm gonna right. get my money right. up. But my whole goal is to buy the machines and do the stuff myself. So I don't gotta send nothing out or anything done in house. I don't, I don't have to outsource nothing. Right. So the book is called Taco Montana Clandestine Hustler. Mm -hmm. Was a hustler um, birthed in you? Yeah. Yeah, by saying, by just being around. Like, guys right. like you. Like it, it was it was you, P Dub, yeah, P W and, right. and stuff like that that that, that 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 had to shine and stuff, but more for me was you. So right. you, you came off with a, a different era, right? right? The way you did it was different. It right. was different from how they did it. You know what I'm saying? Right. You you were smart, like you smart, like I used to study you so I could be something like you, you know what I'm right. saying? So I saw so I watched how you did with the cars, right. everything came out you had. Right. So that's why you could lay back now and be humble. <laughs> it ain't way they ain't nothing way to see. It was people, yeah, it was, it was people the people the stuff they don't know about the side. I know Tago for real. Me and Tago live in the same apartment tell together. Me, tell them. So they think that like they talking. I know it for real. I just don't go in depth with everything because I always stay back. I ain't right. like the front line. Yeah. I like to stay behind. But I had more money than some of the ones that was exactly. right up on them. Because exactly. they was up on them, but they couldn't keep up with it. So he gonna up. spend up. Georgetown, whatever that's the <laughs> Georgetown you might spin out, they can't do it. I can do it because I would save my money. Yeah. So you yeah. know that would separate me from them. Right. So but I told everybody the game. Oh, you said you were I quit. made sure I told everybody the game and, and told them, hey, this is what you need to do. You need to save your money, this and that, because then I always tell the people that I would retire and make an exit. Yeah, he said that. We thought she was lying. He Everybody said, was he <laughs> boy, so he ain't gonna stop. There's too much coming in like that. He, 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 no. Okay, but was I a man of my word? Yeah, he was a man. He stopped. He stepped right off the game. Because that would inspire y'all to do the right thing like Spike Lee. So, um, could you tell the youth for me something that inspired them, man, so that they won't get into the trouble that we did. They won't pack the nine. They won't uh, go and uh, create a, a violent scene or um, rob anybody. So could you tell them something to inspire them? Yeah, with, 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 the, work, with the youth now, it's kind of different, but you still can explain it to them because they can see brothers like him and, and myself made it without, without a gun. You know, you can make it without a gun. I'm still respected, I still go over any area. I'm always traveling with it. I go to any club. I'm still, I'm, I'm not a hack, I ain't hack nothing. So right. that's, you can do anything you want to do, man. I'm saying, follow your dreams and don't be so emotional. So when, like, if something happened, they, they quick to go grab. You ain't got to grab, man. We, we men, if we and him have a problem, we can talk it out. Right. Off the top, we might not say nothing to each other for a couple of days or something, but it, it ain't come to no gunplay. Just don't be so emotional, man, and try to bring your brother up. If you like me doing something or he doing something, I know he'll bring me up. Right. Hey, no, look, I'm doing this. You want to come do that? That's the same thing we're going to do. I'm trying to do the same thing. I'm trying to pull the youth. Anytime right. I'm hiding, I always have youth. Every time I have youth. But some of them want it, some of them don't. So, you know, yeah. you got to come and work, man. They will sit there. You be out high on top. They be like this all day. Yeah. <laughs> they talk to you. You know how I my Yeah, you do it. I'm right. like, God damn, I'm paying you for nothing because you're That's what I was saying. But I'm doing all of the work and all of the sales, but I just need somebody just to sometimes go over, take something off of the rack, 
just help the person. Just ask them, yeah. speak to them, ask them what they. Yeah, they're a little lazy, but at the same time, it is some who are doing it. It's just the ones that we happen to be around. So you got to reach out for those who really have some um, energy and uh, ambition. And oh yeah, it's you know what I'm saying. Them all here like that. Yeah, so we just got to find the right ones. Right That's yeah. all. Is you know yeah. because. Let those who don't want to participate, let them do their thing because you can't save them, you know what I'm saying? But the ones who are participating, yeah, right. those are the ones we want to reach and empower them so that they can continue doing what they're doing because that's what we've done. We've been rolling like a, a tire the whole entire time. Oh, yeah. So, Lopes, could you tell um, the Taco Montana viewers um, your social media, so they'll be able to reach you and support your brand. So tell them, you know, all about your brand and your social media page. You know, oh, okay. you're on Facebook, Instagram, yeah. or if you're on LinkedIn, X, uh, TikTok, whatever you on. Shit, I'm, I'm on all of them, y'all. I'm on uh, Facebook. My Facebook is my full name, which is Carlos Harris. I can use my name because my name good. Right. So that's Carlos Harris on Facebook. Then I got an Instagram. It's all love, no hate. I got the all love no hate. That's one of mine. So then I got two Instagrams. I got another one called all love no hate nine. So the first one is all love no hate LLC. So it's gonna be all underscore love underscore hate underscore LLC. And then I got TikTok, the TikTok one. I mean, I just you, because it's free promotion, y'all. So right. why why not get it? Right. Get it? It's free promotion. I got a TikTok shop too. You can you can buy off TikTok and everything. That one's called right. the same thing. All love, no hate, LLC with the underscores right. under each one. So you can always sit. This my hold on, see if I can show. This is my logo right here. So this how the TikTok look. So it's always a way, man. I want y'all to use use your network. You got a network. Use right. the people that's around you. When people call you like talk. Call me. That's a blessing. Cause I know the world's saying it, so it ain't like you know he just called to save himself. No, he trying to bring me up. He trying to bring exactly. me down. Like you say, millions and millions of people watch. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I definitely appreciate you, man. Yeah. Always, though. Always, always. Once again, Taco Montana in the building with the bosses. You heard? I empower, inspire entrepreneurs that become bosses. The hustle continues as always on the Taco Montana show. If you're new in the building, please subscribe, hit the like and share, and the rest of the family, hit the like. Let's get the likes up, y'all. Until next time, Taco Montana, how you love that?